Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Xanthus Game. We're here today in Diablo 3 and we have another challenge rift for you guys today. And it is a Legacy of Nightmares Archer build. Phalanx Archer. Uh, so I moved, I right clicked and I moved my horsey onto the right click. Uh, my steed charge moved down to right click. And then everything else here, I'm going to numlock 1 through 4. I'm just going to turn on numlock, hit and hold the 1 key, turn off numlock, release the 1 key. Turn on numlock, hit and hold the 2 key, release the 2 key. Numlock, hit and hold the 3 key, turn off numlock, release the 3 key. Numlock, hit and hold the 4 key, turn off numlock, release the 4 key. All of those abilities will be auto cast on cooldown. Uh, the cooldowns are really long and I found that just trying to strategically cast them didn't really seem to help all that much. So I'm just going to go complete lazy man on this and just numlock them. All right, so looking at our build, we're using Zay's Stone of Vengeance, which gives you extra damage the further away you are from your target. It's important to note that it does increase the damage of your pets, but it calculates the distance based on where you are in relation to the mobs, not where your pets are. So you want to make sure you keep your physical body a long ways away from pet or away from the enemies, if at all possible. You can also spam your smite for some extra damage. He is running Depth Diggers, which will be am amplified by your Wailing Host, uh, sorry, Legacy of Nightmares set. And then you have the Pet Gem. Most of your damage is going to come from your pets. Try to keep your, dam your distance from things to increase your damage and just kind of walk your way through the rift. The timer does seem a little bit tight, to be honest. So let's go ahead and have a look at the map and then get on into this. All right, let's go on in. So my stuff numlocked. I accidentally unnumlocked it when I was looking at my map. There we go. And we're just gonna walk in here. And I know that there's an elite right away there, so I walk forward a little bit more to pull him. And then I'm just gonna spam my clicks, trying to target the elite whenever possible. And hopefully my stupid minions actually target the elite too. That would be super. There we go. Got him. There's a shielding pylon below us, so I'm just going to mount up and get that. And then let my minions, my pets, kill them as I walk away. Cool boy style. Don't even look at the damage you're doing. And just kind of keep moving forward. Uh, your taunt will add lightning damage onto your attacks. You don't have to actually hit targets with the taunt. You can just activate the ability. It, again, it doesn't have to actually hit the targets that you want the lightning damage to apply to. Just going to skip forward here and there to try to get to elites whenever possible. There should be two elites here. So I'm going to kill this first one. I'm actually going to move forward and start getting ready to pull in that next one as well. Uh, I'm not sure where he is. I need to grab these. Keep going. I swear there's. There he is. I'm like, there should be another one. Try to keep your distance as much as possible, but you still have to move forward in order to get the mobs on the screen. So the upwards life is a bit of a struggle here. Remember, the damage is calculated based on your distance, not your pet's distance, so if at all possible, try to avoid going into melee range. Shift, hold shift to force stand still as you cast your abilities. That'll help you out a little bit. All right, and let's move on to next floor. This floor, there should be an elite right away, it looks like. And then there's a path straight below us that we don't want to go down. It doesn't do us any good. Let you guys kill him. And then move through. And we just want to kind of keep moving as much as we can. Uh, I'm going to elect to go down instead of up that path there. I think there's two elites down this way, so this is a slightly better path to take. Oops. As I run straight into a dead end. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, my number three must not have been numlocked, so I'm going to fix that real quick. Make sure you grab all the orbs. Those progression balls are precious to you right now. Grab those balls. Get them. Get them! Oh my. What's wrong with me? <laughs> oh, goodness. Alright. Get the orbs. And move on. Straight down to exit. Time is a little tight. I might be doing something wrong here, guys, but this is the best I can figure out to do it. 
All right, and then we move into the next one. This is where our money is. This is where we make progress. We move down this way. Our conduit's gonna do most of the damage here, so I do wanna get within range here, within melee range here, because our conduit's doing our damage. We do, of course, want to still be casting our phalanx and all that, but our conduit's doing most of our damage. Uh, forward and then up, it looks like, was the path I opted to go. And then just let your conduit kind of chunk things as best as you can. There should be another elite. Oh, my conduit's out already. Ugh. You can see how much progress we made with that conduit, though. Our conduit's basically our lifeline. Alright. Get those and move through. And then just keep clearing. Keep on clearing. Let's kind of dip this way a little bit for a second. Pull those guys. And then we have another elite straight up ahead here. Uh, at that point, if this doesn't push the Rift Guardian, you could go on to the next floor, or you can double back. There's some trash behind you that we skipped. That is completely up to you. I'm just going to keep moving forward. Move just a little bit into the next map. I didn't get the map for this because we shouldn't have to clear too much of it in order to push the Rift Guardian. I didn't figure you guys needed it for the, like, five inches you have to walk forward, right? And time is pretty tight, though. It is pretty tight. I could be doing a better job of keeping my distance with Zays. This is such a weird way to play a Crusader to me. It doesn't even click in my head at all, but we did it. Hopefully the map helps you guys. Uh, I just numlocked my abilities. You could cast, you could wait to cast your Akrat's Champion. You could wait to cast your Laws of Valor until you get uh, to the enemies, to the elites. That would be one way you could possibly improve your time, I guess. Uh, I did notice that his Laws of Valor doesn't appear to have a rune. It appears that he did a unruned version of Laws of Power. Also, Laws of Val Valor. Also notice that there's no gems in his gear. Why? I don't know. Reasons. So, if it helped you guys, make sure you like, favorite, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll see you next week. Ooh, I'm slow. Must have missed something. You guys let me know down in comments what I missed.